Yo! Video games. We started to play through uh, Wonderful 101, Brian J, a little while ago, and uh, didn't get the chance to finish it. We're gonna try to jump back into it when we do a little like uh, revamp up to Bayonetta 2. Probably around like August, yeah. September time. It's funny a lot of there's been a lot of threads on NeoGaf about that game lately, and there's like there's always a thread that comes up saying how great it is and it's not a niche game and all this stuff, and then there's another thread that I comes up. I thought someone said that yeah, it's not a niche game. Well, yes, it fucking is. And it's then, like. You don't market something as niche and not. You don't say it is yeah. or it isn't. It just is. It just is. You don't. Market. It just means yeah. is it popular by mainstream culture or not? You can't dictate what that is on the box. And then a week later, a dude comes up and it says, "I've been playing this game for like hours now, and I I don't feel like I'm getting any better, and the game is getting ridiculously hard. Like the controls and how you play Wonderful 101, this guy was explaining, is just really weird. And I'll kind of agree with him. It's like one of those games I gotta sit down for a while." And get used to the the crazy way of combat in this game. I really wish you didn't have to use this stupid circle-y thing on the pad. Make circles and lines and shit. Seemed to be okay in Okami because you can just do it quickly with the with the analogs, but I don't know. A lot of fun parts of the game though. I did fucking buy it. I mean we did spend like sixty real dollars on it. With no trade in. This lady's cat. This was a toxic cat. Where's your goddamn cat? Doesn't matter. When do you think that Zelda game's even gonna come out? 2016? Fall next year. Fall 2017. The new Zelda one? Fall 2018. Fall, uh, November 2015. March 2022? Okay. Oop. It'll be, it'll be November 2015. I, it's kind of funny, because I, I feel like things are changing for the Wii U. Like, things are finally going a little well for them after Mario Kart and them getting some decent, fun games. But it still hasn't, like, happened yet, you know? Maybe it's just because I'm actually playing the system. It feels weird. Because I've owned it for two years now, and we've barely ever touched it. And now that Mario Kart's out, I actually have a reason to just play a game that's really fun. It's still got major problems, though, in the fact that, like, there's a huge gap between now and fucking Hyrule Warriors. Oh, yeah. Like, it's a fucking problem. Yeah, that, that seems to be the ongoing issue with the system in general, is that there's these huge months months of delay in between games well, that are Well, that's ridiculous. Okay, so, like, let's look at what Nintendo's releasing this year. Like, Mario Kart? Mash Boss Rage Skullgirls! Don't worry, dude, it's already, it's already in the books. That hasn't been recorded yet, but it's already in the books. Thank you, though. Murray will go down eventually. No, so anyways, my point was like, okay, let's let's look at like what are they actually releasing this year? Yeah. Or what have they released this year? You can you could kinda say, well, they, they released the retail build of We Fit you you in January and sold like Doesn't count. Sold like twelve thousand copies, I'm not even kidding. Doesn't count. Um, so the first game they really released at retail was Donkey Kong in February. And then nothing until Mario Kart eight on May thirtieth. And then, not a goddamn thing until Hyrule Warriors on September 26th, which is a game they're not even making. You know, it's an outsource title. Yeah. They're not even publishing it in Japan. It's being published entirely by Tecmo over there. Um, so the biggest problem with the system is that they ain't yeah. got no games. And then a month later, you, you'll, get, you'll get Bayonetta 2, 1 and 2. Again, not, not made by them, but hey, it's there. You know, they paid for it. Um... And then after that, you'll get Captain Toad Treasure Trackers, which I'm not going to say it's a bad game, but it's not going to sell the system. It's, it's going to be great for us owners or puzzle people. Well, it's pretty much just an expansion of Mario 3D World, right? Well, it's just the Toad levels. Like oh, there you go. around the Toad levels. You know, those little 3D dioramas yeah. where he walks around. But, like, the engine is the same shit as Mario 3D World. Oh, well, yeah. So it's just, like, we did some more shit with it. Here you go. It's a great-looking game, so why not? Just like 3D World, but... It's the 3D World expansion. Yeah, but that's just... Uh, then, that's an entirely different genre of games, though. It isn't just Toad platforming? Well, 
it's a it's an action puzzle game. Toad doesn't jump or anything. He doesn't attack. Okay. Like, do you remember the Toad puzzle level at all? No. <laughs> D Lion 27. I only know what I saw. They're like, like, these, like, that was they're just like, like these little 3D little dioramas, and he can you have to like navigate him around and not have him get hit. <laughs> mm. So it's, it's it's Mario 3D World with less stuff that you can do. It's a puzzle game. It's it's not really like 3D World at all. <laughs> Except that it looks just like it. Well, he uses the same engine. Yeah. yeah. That's the impression that you get from a dude that didn't play 3D World, really. Or didn't play those mainstream, like, Zelda... I'm sorry, those mainstream Mario games, is that it looks just like 3D World. What an asshole. Thank you again, Z-Lion. Use the boxes to do stuff. And you died. Congratulations. Fuck. Yeah, Mario Maker does look pretty interesting. Yeah, I think it's really cool, but at the same time, it's not something PC people have been doing for fucking decades. <laughs> that isn't going to sell Wii U's. It's just very nice. Yeah. I don't know if that's coming out this year or not. And then at the end of the year, probably in December, we'll get Smash Brothers. So let's look at it again. What is our release schedule for this year? Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, Hyrule Warriors, Bayonetta 2, Smash Brothers. Oh, and Toad, Captain Toad. All pretty good games, but I mean, you have to wait three to four months between some of them. So it's like, fuck. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard when you don't when you realize if we go back to like when we were working in a store selling games and you saw games coming out like. Even on GameCube, all the time. Yeah. Like, there was, like, a new game, third party or first party, like, every week. And there was, like, a new big game every couple months um, for any of the systems. Like, they they properly planned and coordinated when shit was going to come out, even on the GameCube, you know what I mean? So, it's a little goofy. And now they don't have any... The only exclusives they have are mostly first party now. Besides Bayonita. I mean, that is first part. I mean, they're publishing it. Well, there you go. But they don't have, like, an Resident Evil 4 now. You know. Okay. Nintendo still needs to go buy Capcom. Let's go buy them outright. Buy all their IPs. Make beautiful games around everything. Make Street Fighter exclusive to Nintendo? Fucking awesome. Whatever. <laughs> Nom 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 nom! He's making sweet music out of it. He's gonna die. For that sweet, sweet music. That thing is horrible looking. It's got a butthole for a face. <laughs> a big, pussy red anal cornhole. Woof! Woof! Use the boost to break. Oh man, it comes. Hit me! Fight me, damn you! Eat the heart! Do I think Captain Falcon will make it into Smash 4? I'd almost say it's guaranteed. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, almost a guarantee. If, if that doesn't happen, there's something very weird going on. It's like, well, they're not going to put Captain Falcon because he doesn't have any games. Well, why'd they put Mega Man in there? <laughs> ah, that's sad. Oh, that's not good. I thought I missed it. Look that dog get yeah, funked. I'm <laughs> gonna give you some dramatic Resident Evil snarl. Back to Dougie. It's funny, I was seeing some of the DLC that was released for Resident Evil 6. Like some of the, uh, like the mercenaries missions and shit like that. It actually looks really cool. Kind of bums me out that the game was bad. But I still, I'll still stand by that. I think RE5 did, or RE6 did, the character controls and the overall like player movement, the best of any Resident Evil game to date. 
sucks that you didn't do anything cool with it, really. Yeah, like, it means nothing. Like, oh, it kind of makes, I guess it makes mercenaries kind of fun. Yeah, it does. Like, but it's like when the default mercenary is, like, three levels. It was like trash. That. It was yeah. It was like it was nothing that good. And the, all the extra stuff I see, like there's like this giant party area, like this giant graver room with like lights and shit and zombies everywhere. I'm like this was fucking neat. Yeah, I think the only like good mercenaries map too was like that one in the middle of like the the, the town, the town, yeah. whatever it was. The the Chinese like su intersection area. Yeah, it was like a bridge or whatever across the middle. I was like it. Sega, oh my god, Sega could never buy Capcom. Capcom could buy Sega at this point. No. Oh, because besides the pachinko shit. If Sega if Sega disconnected from Sega, Sammy... Did you hear how Sega just made $93 million in seven months? Oh, off of the mobile game. Off their mobile division? Yeah. Yeah, there was one mobile game they had that was a huge hit. Yeah, they had like a few that were... You know, were hit, like one was like a mega fucking Titanic size hit. Yeah. The rest were like some. There were a couple that All were right. good, and the rest were like under. I got numbers. it. I got it. I got it. Capcom release a Mega Man free to play game that is actually designed not like shit on mobile, and make it that you can customize your characters. You can you can share levels with people. Make it not like shit. Me reiterate this. Make it actually play fun on mobile with whatever you do. Oh, hello. Have it be an homage to all the other Mega Man games. Spend time on it. Make it not like shit, like all the other ones. How about they just not do mobile? Just... Well, how about that? If how about that... they just use mobile? Like, well, Capcom... use mobile to get a little bit of fucking success to make console games again. That's what I mean. Is that that's what's happening with Sega now? Is well, that see, this is why we're terrible business people, or would be terrible business people, because if you use mobile for success for console games, then why not just take mobile to make other mobile success? Like. Why why use mobile success for something that's not successful? Oh shit. You'll be fine, don't worry. You'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> Mostly because it's up to that's up to the company's director. Like the that's up to like Well sadly, as a business as a business prop like as a business person, it's like, yeah, this is actually Oh no, to a board. It's a dumb yeah. it's a dumb idea to make console games if console games just lose you money. Yeah, yeah. Well I mean that's, that's the a, problem. Up to a board, if there's if there's a visionary director, like a, a president that runs where the company is going, and they he has a strong bind to having console being the future or PC games being the future of the company as well as mobile, then yeah, that's exactly what you want, to have mobile do well and have console do well too. I'm saying like for the most people who care about console is console really make a lot of money. Oh I know. That's exactly how it is. I'm just saying how I would like it to be. If you had somebody like Reggie, you know. Somebody with a level head that understands the industry and still wants to preserve legacy. But if there's one thing that Capcom doesn't like, it's legacy. Uh, really? That's not you have to go down. Woo! SNK bot Capcom. I just realized your fucking TV's Jesus. tilted. SNK SNK doesn't have enough money to buy anything right now. SNK doesn't SNK doesn't have enough money to make anything so much that they turn Samurai Showdown and Art of Fighting or Samurai Showdown and Fatal Fury into casino games. Into Wait, pachinko did someone games. seriously say like SNK should buy Capcom? Yeah. Do they, are you not aware of how little money SNK is? SNK is doing not or, good. Or what SNK is. It's like, they stopped making games and they started making casino games. It's not good sense. Yeah. You gonna do it? No. <laughs> Wee. Yeah, they're making pachinko slot games with Samurai Showdown and... and yeah, but it had like... It's weird because it had like new sprite artwork or something. It had new sprites that had a giant expensive CG CG cutscene and trailer for both of both Fatal Fury and... And Samurai Showdown. It's the most depressing thing on the planet. It's the most depressing thing ever. Like redesigned Hohamaru's and Nakaru's and everything. Like redesigned and looks awesome. And then you find in the end that it's a pachinko slot game. Depressing as fuck is what it is. This is an interesting level, at least. You do not shoot that green shit at me. Yeah, 
I know about that. The uh, the blocky uh, PS2 versions of like um, or PS1 versions of like Resident Evil 2 characters. Like you can be blocky Leon. Oh, and RE. RE6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cute. There's a little bit of legacy stuff, you know. Holy fuck! So Simmons Simmons was playing through the other day before we started uh, Umbrella Chronicles, Dark Side Chronicles. Yeah, like it was that. Dark Side. Yeah. Playing through Dark Side Chronicles, I'm like, man, it seems cool if you're able to go through like the Resident Evil 2 town, like go through Raccoon City and the verge of the zombie outbreak. That seems like it'd be pretty awesome. Watched it and it was the boringest fucking game ever. Like it was this just is a terrible light gun shooter. It was just a really awful version of House of the Dead is what it ended up being. And I was like, this is not fun. Like and zombies don't react well to bullets and the camera's always shaking like crazy. And I'm like, Jesus, man, this would be cool if it wasn't trash. If it was actually fun. So, I don't know, I just... I was kind of excited to try that game out because I'd never really played them before. And when I saw it in action, I'm like, wow, no thank you. Yeah, and it's no, like, then like the one level lasted an hour because your characters move so slow. Yeah. That is one mighty fro. Yep, she's got a, she's got a pretty epic fro.